they, they are. We don't usually take a, a regional newspaper like this, but this is the Oxford Mail. Uh, they saw no evil, uh, firmly pointing the finger. And the problem we have there is that this is almost not that shocking now. It's almost shocking in how, how we come to expect this. We've known this is on its way for a while, the Oxford Report, and yet again, they, they found a culture uh, involving the various authorities. And you're right, yeah. there, is a, there is now a co now. correct, deep-seated suspicion of authorities' inability both to handle situations and to handle problems that then arise. So in this case, there's 373 children abused or put at risk. There are multidisciplinary authorities involved in it, the NHS, the police, the local council. And there is unwillingness to tackle the but problem. But interestingly, not one single person in the council has lost his job or been disciplined over this. Not one single person in the Thames Valley Police Force has been disciplined or sacked over this. And what I find astonishing is the boss of that police force, Sarah Thornton, who presided over all of this, and at the time this was happening, there was pressure on, on her to resign. She, not only did she not resign, she's now being promoted to a job where she's in charge of all chief constables. So the person whose job it is to be in charge of the police force and be accountable for this is, is, is escaping accountability. What is she there for, if not to take the rap when something huge when her officers don't do their job? We keep hearing the, the phrase, don't we, after these sorts of things, lessons learned. We, we, all the time we hear, we, say, we hear things, people saying, this will never happen again. It's, it's happening all the time. Not, actually, you can say it, I think Michael Gove uh, said today this will happen again. I spoke to someone who was on a, uh, runs a children's charity. This could be happening in multiple, multiple boroughs. We have a crisis in how we deal with children in this country. It's not too strong to put that. We seem to have a complete inability, a complete dysfunctional relationship with childhood where abuse allegations are made. The police see, uh, they, they don't see victims, they see people who are actively involved themselves. And we don't appear to be able to handle it. There was one line in this, this report today that said social workers looked at some of these girls who were claiming to have been abused and, and they saw them as it being a lifestyle choice for these girls. Now, if you have a social worker that thinks that, what hope have you ever had of solving this problem? And when no one is accountable. It's incredible. Okay, that um, story features in a lot of the newspapers. Let's uh, go to the Telegraph.